You see brands, especially, they get on social media and they're just terrible. You know, they're trying to be cool on Twitter and it's just like, oh, they're trying too hard. It's like, it went, like when your dad would try to rap in the 80s or something. You're like, oh, sweet mama. Uh, but uh, Scott Rorig here, no social media. He's been preparing this, this presentation for months now because he wants you to know how to humanize your brand using social media. Give it up, Ignite Denver 17, for Scott Rorig. Now, despite this confident exterior, what's that? Despite this confident exterior, I need a hug. I've got to be honest with you guys. I need a hug. Now, from you guys, that would be awesome. But what I'm talking about is from the companies that I do business with. You see, at the end of the day, while I'm a social media enthusiast and lover of all things social media, I'm really a lot like you. I'm a consumer. And we live in a day and age where we've never been more connected than right now. And social media plays a big role in that. In fact... You know, companies who don't take advantage of this right now are going to be missing the boat. Don't believe me? Look at the numbers. 78% of consumers actually base their first buying decision actually on a company's social media efforts. 86% when it comes time to buy the second time will go back to that same brand. If we connect, I will stay with you. And not only will I stay with you, studies show that I actually spend more money. Your profits per customer go up the longer I stay with you. So now that's a little bit about the economics of, of why we should do this. But humanizing your brand, companies who don't humanize their brand and connect with consumers like me are missing the boat. If you know social media, you know Jay Bear. He says to brands and companies, focus on how to be social and not how to do social. Wow, revolutionary, right? It's not difficult. I'm here to tell you, if it was difficult, I wouldn't be talking about it. And there's three main ideas when it comes to humanizing your brand. Be authentic, tell a story, and listen to me. So what does it mean to be authentic? Well, number one, it means this helmet is killing my nose. Be authentic. You can't fake relevancy. You can't fake caring. So it means less selfies, and it means caring more about the people in front of you. This is my son. He plays for a soccer team called the Stormtroopers. I went on to HalloweenCostumes.com, and I ordered five medium T-shirts and one large. Place the order, I get a phone call 20 minutes later from Tiffany. Tiffany tells me we only have four mediums. I said, no problem, send me those and the two larges. Done. I get this nice handwritten letter from Tiffany that says, sorry we screwed up. We've thrown in six Stormtrooper water bottles for you in addition to the jerseys. Go have fun. That's what it's all about. Whoa. I mean, awesome. Yeah, you're right. Aww. I mean, there's companies out there that exist. You talk about being authentic. So what does this mean for them? That little authentic effort probably is going to trans, you know, transfer into some additional revenue in people who are buying costumes. <laughs> tell a story. Tell me a story. Entertain me. Tell me what it's like to work at your company. Give me the behind-the-scenes work you know, line, but don't spew crap up there on your social media channels. Entertain me. Educate me. I do a lot of backpacking when time allows, and Sierra Designs is a brand that I follow. Here's one where they're showing one of their product designers, sewing on a sleeping bag, Backstage, you know, behind the scenes. Not much. It's not rocket science, is it, guys? Another one, Southwest Airlines. We know what they're doing. They're great through social media and connecting with their followers. Here they're poking fun at themselves, you know, joking at the, what they were wearing back in the 80s. And this is off their Instagram account. It's not rocket science, but I, you know, as a consumer, I'm attracted to that kind of stuff. Not having the appropriate social media channels to engage in your consumers is the equivalent of not having a phone line in 1995. It frustrates me when I get online and I kind of feel like the Verizon guy. Can you hear me now to these companies? McAllen, I love scotch. Any scotch drinkers out here? Yeah. They do a great job. Hey, users, submit photos of what you think McAllen means to you. And we'll post it on our Pinterest page. Now, when I had a job, tweets go, to Marriott, and they were listening to me, and they actually responded to my tweet and then called me back, which at that point was really cool, but then they took it a step further, and they actually found out my wife and I were going to New York for the Super Bowl that we lost, and they gave us a $50 credit to use at that courtyard. Pretty cool stuff, right? But not much. I mean, it doesn't require a whole lot of effort. So, unlike your Facebook relationship status, Humanizing your brand through social media is not complicated, guys. It's not complicated, especially if you follow these three main ideas. Be authentic, 
tell a story, and listen to me, me being the consumer. And at the end of the day, despite what this guy tells you, don't be a social media wiener. That's the, that's the wrong kind of following. That's the wrong kind of brand image. That's the wrong kind of connection you want to have with your people. Don't be a social media wiener. Now, I'm ready for my hugs, so I'll catch up with you guys uh, in a little bit. My name is Scott Roig, and I encourage you to humanize your brand through social media. Thank you. <laughs>